State Senate Republicans want to put more money back in your pocket and cut your personal income taxes. Ireland Viscount joining us now live in our studio with more Ireland. Valerie, Senate Republicans proposed what they call a historic tax cut for working families. Meanwhile, the other side of the aisle says this proposal was out of the blue. Senate Republicans say the proposed tax relief would slash personal income tax from 3.07 to 2.8 percent. We have driven an agenda about empowerment, and today what we're talking about is empowering the taxpayer. President Pro Tem Kim Ward says the proposal will add up to a $3 billion tax cut and would roll back an Ed Rendell income tax increase, which he signed 21 years ago. They also want to eliminate the 140-year-old gross receipts tax on electricity that Majority Leader Joe Pittman argues will save consumers on their energy bills. The gross receipts tax is probably the most regressive tax that we implement on the people of Pennsylvania. Also, the GOP argues instead of spending the surplus and rainy day fund as Governor Shapiro wants to do, they'd rather give it back to taxpayers. And the purpose of that rainy day fund is ultimately to protect the taxpayers. But I get tired of hearing that we have to use that money to invest in other things. So we're here today to say to our friends on the other side of the aisle, if you want to use some of that rainy day fund to invest, let's invest it in the taxpayer because that rainy day fund is here because of the taxpayer. Democratic Senator Vincent Hughes says this proposal is out of the blue. No conversation with the governor's office, House Democrats or House Republicans. The idea of having a conversation about um, putting Pennsylvania citizens in a better position economically in terms of more dollars in their pockets, that's worthy of having. Hughes saying there are other ways to put money back in Pennsylvanians' pockets. Earned child care, the earned income tax credit is one. Uh, child care tax credit is one. Raising the minimum wage is one. If you want to put money in people's pockets, why not raise the minimum wage? Uh, uh, if you want to have more targeted reductions for more working individuals, right, there's other things that can be done. We're not pushing this off on its face. We're ready to have the conversation. And the budget is due on June 30th. Valerie.